Hey, this is Labna, and today I'm going to be showing you how to teleport to Area 52 and Nether Storm, which is right next to Tempest Keep so you can farm Ashes of Valar. What you're going to need is Goblin Engineering, so check out my guide on Goblin Engineering if you want to know the first step in being able to do this. So, if you obtained Goblin Engineering, the second thing you're going to need is to obtain Outland Engineering skill of 50. After you do that, you're going to have to get the pattern, make the toy, and then learn the toy. So let's get started on the guide. So these are the total materials that you're going to need. You're going to need 110 fell iron bars. If you want to make fell iron bars from fell iron ores, you have to remember that it takes two ores to make one bar. So if you need 110 fell iron bars, then you're going to need to smelt 220 fell iron ores. 25 motes of fire. If you want to make motes of fire from primal fire, or motes of earth from primal earths, you will need a character with outland mining. Otherwise, you will not be able to break them into the motes. You don't need any special prerequisites to get outland mining or to be able to break the primal fires and the primal earths into motes of earth. But you have to have mining on a character. So take that into account if you want to buy primal fires and then break them into motes because it's cheaper to do that on your realm. Alternatively, if you want to make primal fires, you can see the tooltip of motes of fires that say that you can simply right click them and merge 10 of them into a primal fire. So you'll need also 50 motes of earth, 44 adamantite bars, 1 primal earth, 1 arcane dust, 50 nether weave cloth, 1 corium bar, and 3 primal fires. So the motes of fire there and the primal fires are separate. So to get from skill 1 to 20, you're going to need to make 56 handful of fell iron bolts. Then you're going to make 18 fell iron casings. And then the third step is you're going to make 25 elemental blasting powder. So to get from skill 20 to 25, you're going to make 15 fell iron bombs. To get from skill 25 to 35, you're going to make one adamantite frame, which you will save. Then you're going to make one the bigger one. If you make one bigger one, it's basically three bombs, so make sure that you save two of those for when you make the toy. Step seven is you're going to make 10 adamantite grenades. At skill level 35, you're going to have to buy the pattern White Smoke Flare, which can be found in Shatrath by the vendor Wind Trader Lathray in the lower city. This item is not always sold by the vendor, so if it's not on the vendor, there are other vendors you can actually go to. For the Alliance, go to Fira and the Exodar. For the Horde, there are actually two vendors that sell the schematic. There's the Captured Gnome here in Zangamarsh and Yatheon in Silvermoon City. If none of the people have this pattern, you can either try leveling the skill to level 50 some other way. You can check back until the pattern comes up or you can check the auction house. To get from skill 35 to 50, step 8 is you're going to make 50 white smoke flares until you reach the skill of level 50. And then step nine is you're going to learn how to make a Corium power core. Now we're going to head over to area 52 to learn the pattern from Kablam Farflinger right next to this teleporter here. If you're having trouble finding him, you can always do slash target Kablam and it'll make it easier to find him. If you'll talk to him, he'll teach you the pattern to be able to make the dimensional ripper area 52. So you should have all the materials as long as you held on to every, uh, all the final products from before. And that's it. It's that easy. I think the hardest part of doing this uh, is the time that it takes to actually do the research to find out the most effective and like really just easy ways of getting this sort of thing done. You might have a lot of extra byproducts, but this is the reason I'm doing the guide this way is the safest way of not having to like keep popping back on your alt to go to the auction house and buy stuff over and over and over but if you want a more in-depth guide of like the maybe the smallest materials possible that you need i could also make a, make a guide like that if you would like to see that but anyways that's it thanks for watching and happy mount hunting